All right, so today I'm going to try and build facsimile of this messenger, the intercom messenger in Tailwind. Peter is a lot more knowledgeable than I am in all things CSS and layout and Tailwind, but I think I know enough to do most of this, and I'm sure he'll help uh, point out opportunities for me to do it uh, better. I guess there's two sections here. I'm thinking like we're going to have a, a flex with two containers, one for the messenger, and one for this uh, button down here. So I've got Tailwind Play here. And I'll just, I guess, start boxing this out. Um, I'll just give it a color. So this is gonna be the main container. We wanna make it white screen. So we're gonna have two, two divs within it. Um, this will be the messenger. And this will be the the opener button. Um, so I want to make this a flex and a flex call so they're on top of each other. Um, now I kind of want the messenger to take most of the space and just the button have this area down here. So I think if I make this a class flex one that will make it take up all the space and um, now I'm just, the button will take up whatever it needs. Um, oh, so before I forget, I'm going to add a little utility that I created yesterday, which is called, I have it in a gist here, uh, Tailwind question mark. So this is the cool, uh, I think, cool little utility, which just allows you to put a question mark utility class in a div, and it makes that div um, flash. So it's kind of useful for uh, explaining so I think I can just go to the config here and add it to the plugins and when this recompiles okay so for example if I put it on the button we should, can see it hey it's cool it works okay cool. so we want to give this uh, <laughs> want to give it a color let's say blue 600 um, I'm gonna make it rounded full so it's rounded. Um, I'm going to give it a fixed width. Uh, so it's going to be a circle, 16, and a height of 16. And now it's a circle. Um, if I give it a margin, it'll push it up a bit. And then I want to put it over in the right-hand side. Um, and I always need to refer to the docs for this, but the docs are cool. Um, so I actually know it by... There's a line justify and a line items. Okay, so justify, I want justify end, I think. Put it on the right. Um, this is a flex, oh, does this need to be on the flex itself? No. Okay, so I'm, I'm immediately surprised uh, by that. So it's, so justify that's along the main axis right so we're going down okay. on a call so it'd be items ah, so it'd be a line yeah. and items and or is it oh i'm forgetting the keywords is okay. it a, a line a line items a line items. end or items end items end do i put that on the flex container hey no 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 just on the child oh sorry 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 you're right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes on the flex container and okay. that goes all over to the right That'll put everything to the right, which is what I, it, with the messenger as well, which is what I want. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, thanks. Um, so this is a button. I guess I should, uh, let's take a look at this. There's a, kind of a shadow behind this. There's a, like we're not going to do anything like animations or opening or closing. So we'll just leave it open in this state. Um, so I guess I can start with a icon. If I search for down, we'll get chevron down. Okay, and we want, I think it's probably the right size. We want it white. I guess if I make this a flex itself, and then I can do item center mm -hmm. and uh, the, justify the, center. Justify center, yeah, thanks. Okay, that'll put it in the center, which is cool. There's probably a, is there a hover state on it? There's a cursor which we can add cursor, sorry, cursor pointer. 
Okay, um, and a shadow. Right, let's move this over so we have more room. Shadow, something like that. That is effect. Yeah, it's here. There. Okay. Um, cool. So that's the opener button, and now we have the messenger. So I want this to be aligned to the bottom, and I want to do that on. On it. Well, let, let me let me give it a background first. BG. Okay, so we we maybe it's fine. Maybe I just need to give it some spacing at the top. So you can see here it takes up most of the space. So maybe I'm I'm thinking if I add margin top, like eight, or sixteen, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, and we also want to give it margin to the right. Move it over a bit. Four look about right. Yeah. Okay, and I guess I give it some width. Um, give it a fixed width. Something like eighty. Looks about right. Ninety six. <laughs> let's let's see. Yeah, cool. almost dead on. Okay. Cool. Um. So of course it is, well, what color is it? It's got a blue section and a white section. I guess it's it's white. Um, so it'll be BG white. BG white. Oh, I have indigo on it already. Okay. That was helpful, gave me a little squiggly. Mm. Um, okay, we need some shadow on it as well. I guess it's gonna be the same kind of shadow as here, shadow XL. Um, it's rounded, sort of like that. That looks about right. That okay, so quick. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, that's like the main structure. Uh, I guess then we have like our messenger. The intercom messenger has got this kind of JavaScript fade, and it kind of moves. Uh, I think let's not do that. Let's treat this whole content as just one scrolling uh, section. Mm -hmm. um, so this blue background is kind of static. Um, so uh, that's going to be a little challenging, I think, for me. But let's let's try it, I guess. Um, so what I'm thinking is it needs to be um, absolutely positioned or statically positioned. Let me check position. Position. So it's going to be, uh, we'll have a relative parent and a, I think, absolute. Yeah, let, let's try absolute. Let's, uh, okay. let's let's put the box in the page and see what it does. Okay. So this will be uh, blue. Okay, I'll give it some height. Um, 40, 64, look at that. Cool. Okay, it also needs to be rounded at the top, otherwise it's square. So rounded top, LG. Okay, um, so I want it to be, okay, we have this messenger here. I want this messenger text to come up here, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think if I make the parent relative and this absolute, um, I always get mixed up. It's either absolute or static, maybe. Yeah, no, absolute's good. I think we just have no content in ablutive. So it's, okay. oh, I suppose, uh, let's try static here as well. Yeah, let's, let's just go absolute, put some, okay. put some height in that. Um, Okay, actually, tr let's see what my little helper works. Okay, that's lovely. That's good. <laughs> let's, let's just leave it because it's uh, it's cool. Let's yep. leave it for a minute. Okay, um, so we want it to be widthful. Yep. I think okay. once you do that, you can get rid of the content. Okay. Cool. So it's it's currently on top. It seems of this here. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, create. 
like what are we going to have we're going to have some a top section and some cards so let's just do a quick card um bg white let's just add a border make it rounded um width full um this is a card something we want to get really good at is i always get like find it hard to remember the items end and justify center this exactly this is like this will center everything, right? Mm -hmm. Item center, justify center, if I make it a flex. Yeah. Okay. So if I hide this for a second, this one. Okay. And um, this is a card. We need to go add some padding and some margin. Ooh. What did I do wrong there? That's interesting that it's it's over. Yeah, so you've given it W full and padding of eight. Uh, I thought that our box sizing would help us here. The default is for it to for for padding to be included in the width. Um, okay. Why is it? Hmm. It's the margin. Um. Yeah, it shouldn't matter all that much about it. Uh, can you just confirm the box sizing on that card? Oh, sorry. Of course, of course. So we've set. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's it's an interesting interaction with how W full interacts with the margin. Um. Right, because you've told it to be the full width of its parent, uh, and you're still okay. wanting to put margin on it. Um. Is it possible to? There we go. It was if I remove the width full, it seems to work. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because this is a flex container. We don't need to explicitly say fill up that full direction. Cool. Okay, so we have, if I bring back the, the, the static or the absolute thing, it sits on top. So um, what I would, uh, I think go for here is like Z index. So we want to put it on top and Z zero, but that does not work. Interesting. Um, I suppose it's worth thinking about maybe like this, the, the container that these cards are going to sit in. Um, so if you can switch back to the to the app, yeah. Um, so there's going to be like a bunch of those. So this like high Gavin content and these cards, they're all sort of conceptually living in the same sort of scrolling container. Um, yeah. So we could maybe um, wrap those so in we... a single container now, just to just okay. so we can centralize where we're going to be putting these. Um, okay. So index. this this will be this, and it's going to be a flex at least. Um, at the very least, and I'll bring in some of these cards. Okay. So it's going to be flex call. Okay, so there's the three cards. I guess uh, let me bring in a fourth and a fifth because we're going to want it to scroll as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Perfectly fits. <laughs> six, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so and you see this thing is squashed as well. We, we mm -hmm. probably want to address that, but um, uh, so this is hidden. So we want this to be uh, this whole thing. We want to scroll right. Mm -hmm. um, so is it? I'm so I'm thinking the parent needs to say that it it has no overflow, so it hides the overflow. Yep, that can work. Uh, and then this we say overflow y auto. Where is auto? There. And then we should give it a scroll bar, which it does not seem to do. It's fitting perfectly again. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Nope. It's huh. not. We're not. Uh, an overflow, overflow, overflow hit. Let me remove this in case there's some weird. I'm just going to take that away. Nope. Do you want to inspect that it. container, see what's being applied? Yeah. So what are we looking for here? Um, okay, okay. So we want to set um, so that flex container is being allowed to to grow arbitrarily tall. If we want to set a, a property on that container to say how big it's allowed to be in its parent, even though it's the one scrolling. So I think if you just set that to flex one, it'll um, it'll say you're only allowed to take one hundred percent of your parent. 
or maybe we don't need a set flex one. Maybe it's just H one hundred or H fold. Sorry, we'll we'll have it behave. Okay, but that's good because it's brought the yeah yeah that, cool. that has done it yeah. Okay, so what what is what is that actually? So if you take that away and we look at the if you just inspect that element again, yeah. Uh, you'll see that it's bleeding out way beyond the thing that we've said is overflow hidden. Uh, it's because we haven't actually told, yeah, so that guy there, yeah, this one here, you see that blue hover, I'm pointing at my screen, which you can't see, the blue hover <laughs> yeah. that's covering over the little chevron button. Um, yeah. That's that's overflow that's happening because this child is too tall, but um, it, the child isn't resizing itself to fit inside of the overflow hidden parent. Um, so we can just tell it, okay, you, you can only fill up to 100% of your parent's parent container's height and then it'll it'll uh, fit properly okay cool um so we've still so got that, the, the so layering probably, problem yeah okay so we get rid of this oh we don't <laughs> that seemed to have fixed it cool um, um i'm not, not sure why but... <laughs> i don't understand fully why either that's interesting yeah. uh, why wasn't it working before what, what was it oh so the card was behind um we didn't have the did overflow and we had a Interesting. We, we so there's height full. We had width full. I think there's a width full. There's we a there's an interesting full. concept of um, browsers creating what's called a stacking context, which is what allows it to uh, to 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 sort of kick into this mode of where it knows that it needs to start layering things. Um, there's there's different ways around. I think Tailwind actually has some utilities around enforcing a stacking context. Uh, for now, it's not super interesting for us to get into, so we can just trust that setting this overflow property has done what we want it to do. Um, yeah. The combination of the overflow Y and the, the overflow hidden on the parent uh, has fixed this Z indexing thing, but there are, just know that there are interesting edge cases of where setting a Z index, the browser would actually realize that it needs to do that computation of layering in this Z direction, um, but for now our design looks great. So let's let's move on. Okay, um, this set. I want. I'm wondering now. Do we need the Z index? No. So you could apply that to just the scroll container, right? So you could centralize yeah. that to just the just the one place where we're authoritatively okay. saying you're above the other. Yeah. But I can already see that has not worked. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we're we're back to the <laughs> we're yeah, back to that's... the place where this. Let me see. Let me Google this tailwind uh, um, stacking context thing. Okay. And I will look at ZNX. Not that it's it's going to say much. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um. So what what, what I think of the cool, cool. probably pragmatic thing to do is just reinstate these for now and uh, maybe we could come back to it later yeah. if we have time mm -hmm. okay i mean th these would be componentized anyway so yeah we're not saying a real app it wouldn't be such a huge deal but it would be nice to actually understand why we we do need to do that yeah um well look we're 20 minutes in and we have like the the main structure which is cool um okay so i'm going to work on this thing here at the top Okay, so it'll be here. So it's it's not going to have a background. It doesn't have a border. It isn't rounded. Um, padding, margins, at 10. I guess we could go back to those. Okay, so it's going to be a, we're going to have a bunch of things in it. Um, we're going to have a SVG uh, and two divs or a paragraph and a H1. Um, so we'll start with the, uh, actually, here's what I'll do. I'll just do this because we're going to have three things in it. Okay, one, two, three. So it's going to be flex call again. Okay, and they are all left aligned and this, this kind of margin on the left. Um, so mm -hmm. like this. Um, I want to remove the item center and justify center. That was just a temporary thing. Okay, um, we want to give this, is this the only thing that's indented like this? It is, so we want to give this a margin left, like that. Okay, Would, is there a difference in, in your mind you, between using margin left and padding left in this exact scenario? Well, 
Not necessarily, no. No, we don't care okay. about this this thing being interactive such that the cursor, like the, the click target for this element is any different. We don't really care. We're not specifying any specific width, so we don't care about the padding being part of that. So okay. margin and padding are the same to us here. Okay. I'd already added padding and margin just for the card temporarily. So I guess I could get rid of that for a second and go, what do we actually want to do? Um, cool. So like this container is going to have a bunch of things in it. Maybe it needs some uh, padding. Sure. Right, and then I can remove it from these individual ones, these margins. I don't know if that's right, but let's let's try it. Yeah. Okay, it's probably better. That makes sense. That's stuff. perfect, and then we can use our space between utilities to to apply that in a single place on the scroll container. Okay, so it would be like these guys. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um. So this will be the logo. This will say padding. And wave. Okay, so let's do this first. Um, I'm not sure if it matters if this is like a H1 or whatever. Um, let's just style it like this. So it's gonna be text 4XL, maybe 3XL. Cool. Um, is all the text white? It isn't. They all have different. I think this is like off white. This is going to be an SVG. I guess it probably makes sense to make this text white and then. I think so. Yeah, just because we well I, with the current design, we've got the sort of baked in knowledge that we're going to be most of the time on a blue background. So for for contrast, it, uh, it's a good default to have the text be white, even if we want to override it later to something that's a little more off white. Yeah. Okay, um, so it's kind of like it's, uh, I guess we, we want to control this wrapping um, by giving it a margin, right? Um, sure, yeah, or could give it a fixed width, yeah, okay. totally up to you. I guess width is better because if we were to actually make this wider, we might want, that would mean that text would flow slightly differently, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we're going to go like 40, what are the scales? Okay, 70, that's it there, right? Okay. Perfect. <laughs> you find the magic number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so we want to make this text gray. We'll like that and text more. Oh, <laughs> the, the number is no longer magic. Oh. <laughs> it's not that magic. Okay. Um, so maybe 60. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We, we need a bit more space between these. I guess I'll get the logo first. Okay. So cool. what do we need? Does so zero icons have an intercom logo? <laughs> Unlikely. Um, not yet. Uh, here's a good one that I've used before. Database. Okay, and I, I don't need a div, I can just do this directly. Yeah. And probably 10. 10 about right, yeah. Okay, uh, so it's, it's interesting, there's like, we might need to move this to the left a little bit. I'll get this, I guess I got the spacing right first, it's just spacing between them. It, it mm -hmm. doesn't seem uniform, right? It's like there's a mm -hmm. larger space here. So um, is it okay for me to just like, put padding bottom on or margin bottom on each of them? Uh, yeah, either margin bottom or margin top. Generally, margins are nice. Okay. Um, it, yeah, this concept of margin collapsing in which you can allow the vertical rhythm from different typographic scales to sort of blend into each other such that, you know, a heading after a paragraph can have special casing. But yeah, normally just, long story short, margin. Okay. margin. Uh, we, we normally use margin top, but yeah, the bottom top's all, it's all good. Okay. Um, so let's see, it's, it's reasonably close. Um, this here, I, I don't know any other way than just like giving it a negative, uh, margin, I guess. To achieve which, sorry? Oh, I want to move it to the uh, margin left. I want to move it so it's in line like that. 
Oh, I see. I see. Right. Because our okay. So because the paths inside the SVG aren't perfectly uh, to to the out to the like to the corners of the view box, yeah. it looks like our lines off. Yeah, yeah. You can. It's it's sort of a small hack here, but yeah. Feel free to mar margin left. Just shunt that to the side a bit. Um, if we were crafting our own icon, I just know that the, the intercom icon fills up the full viewport, so you okay. wouldn't have to do that in the real app. But yeah, for this icon, yeah, that's, that's no problem. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see there's a bit of space there. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so probably this needs a little bit of margin as well. Margin bottom one. Um, the text cool. gray is probably a little bit too dark. Okay. Obviously the font is different, but I don't think that matters for what we're trying to do here. Um, so that's pretty good to me. What do you think? Looks great. Okay. Um, cool. So let's start on this card here. So I guess we want to, we have these cards and what's interesting about them. Um, they're all pretty similar. They got rounded corners. They have a shadow and what looks like a border. Um, mm -hmm. and then they have this top border, which is different. Um, which I, I don't believe you can do like a, a different color borders with Tailwind without having multiple yeah, no. Okay, so mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'll work on just a uniform card and then add the top border. Cool. Okay, so uh, uh, let's start with a simpler one first. Like this is a little more complex. Um, this is probably pretty easy. Okay, so let's do the find your answers now. Okay, so... Uh, So this has got, this is going to be a card with a flex in it with two items. Mm -hmm. And the first is going to be find your answers now. And then there will be an input, but the input actually has a button. So that's probably its own, a div it, with its own flex. Mm -hmm. um, which will have an input and then a button like that. Okay. Um, so find your answer now. This will be a but. Uh, actually, this is probably a placeholder. Search our articles. Okay, search our articles so I can see that this is a this is meant to be a flex and a flex call. I already had it as a flex here. Flex call. Okay, this center thing was just temporary. Mm -hmm. Um so is the padding. We need the Z index. We need it to be rounded. Uh, we need a shadow on it. What kind of shadow? Maybe like that, shadow medium. Cool. It needs to have some padding. Okay, find your answers now. Will be bold. Is it text bold or font? Font. A little smaller. Yeah, it's is there a, somewhere in between small and normal? Uh, I don't recall. Yes, I think if you go semi bold, it'll look less punchy. Um, so maybe the the font size mightn't matter all as much. Okay. Of course, we could we can configure these font sizes yeah. uh, to whatever we'd like it as well in our config. Looks a little big. The text. This is a little or small. Is it? Yeah. Little small. Maybe we take thirty seconds and just make our own text config size. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So. How, how about we come back to that? Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay. Cool. The, the, I think the main value is like getting this laid out correctly, mm -hmm. and we can do those tweaks afterwards. Um, yeah. Okay. That's that's good enough for now. Then we have an input, and it has a border. It's. It's, oh, uh, we want to make this, the container, a flex. 
um, flex row. So this is something I learned from you, just being explicit about the way you want to go. It like the default is uh, flex row. But I, I like doing mm -hmm. that. Um, then we can give this a flex one, so it takes the available space. And then mm -hmm. the button, um, what text does it have? It has a chevron. Do that for now. Actually, no, <laughs> it takes a second. <laughs> um, it's always good to put type equals button on these buttons as okay. well. Otherwise pages can get very <laughs> confused trying to submit forms. Okay. okay. Oh, I should, Sweet. I should save this as well. <laughs> All right. Share, sharing there you go. The, new, Just... the new saving. Um, okay, so um, let me get rid of the question mark. So the button has a background color of blue. I think blue seven hundred. Oh. We're in the type attribute here, but yeah, oh. <laughs> you can just close it after a button. And yeah, I was wondering why IntelliSense wasn't working. Okay, it's got some padding. Okay, it's probably rounded on the right, mm -hmm. rounded right, that looks good, which means the input should be rounded left. Okay, it needs, the input needs some padding, probably the same, P2. Okay, um, the text is definitely text small. Let's type. Okay, um, it kind of has this internal uh, shadow, mm -hmm. inner shadow, shadow inner, okay. Lovely. Look at that, just works. Um, it also has when it's focused, it, it has a white or a lighter background, and it doesn't seem to have mm. an outline style. So we get rid of this outline. Outline none. We'll get rid of that, and then uh, focus BG white. Oh, I need a BG. This is the input. Yeah, I need a BG gray. 100. There we go. Nice. That's, yeah, we, we would tweak these colors there. Uh, maybe 50 is better. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Okay, um, this looks a bit big and it needs to be white, the SVG. So I'll try four. Text white, that's a bit small, maybe five. Okay. Um, it the, looks to be the right size, but it's slightly less thick of a stroke than the other. Oh yeah, um, yeah. But it's fine. All right, gone's close enough. Font bold. If any, I, I can never remember between text bold and. Font I don't think bold. it'll let us do it here because it's a it's a hand drawn oh, yeah, path inside the SVG. Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um. So what else? Very close now. Yeah, I think there's a little more padding here. See the way it's it's in further than this. Um, is it uniform? Is it? Oh yeah, so it's on both sides. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this I could do it two ways. Is it for the answer as well? It is. Okay. So it goes up here. So go padding five instead. Uh, did that do it? Padding six should be padding on the X six and padding on the Y four. No, cool. just six everywhere, I think. Okay, and I need a little more space between these. So space between, it's a good name. Mm -hmm. It's an X. I remember this by SpaceX. So SpaceX, <laughs> SpaceX. Oh, that's the wrong place. What's that doing? Uh, yeah, it's the right place. It just should be space Y. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, maybe two. All right, there we go. That's that card done. Um, so let's do the top border. Oh, so let's see. It has a gray border around it. It has a shadow. It's not quite right, but it's probably good enough. Um, let's let's see what the other shadows look like. LG maybe is the other one. Yeah, it's let's go with medium. Uh, cl close enough. Um, of course. Yeah, these are normally yeah. The feathering is something that's normally hand picked, so we we'll, we get it close enough, and we can figure that later if needs be. Okay, so um, I want to give it a top border. The border is going to be like two or three pixels, and it's going to be a different color. Um, so let me just try do it here and just see what goes wrong. So I, it has cool. it has a border, and I could go border top two, and you mm -hmm. can see that's. What, what are our options? There's a four then, which is even more. This is probably a three, maybe. Two doesn't look much. Let's leave it at four. For, let's leave it at four, okay? Um, mm -hmm. uh, so then if I wanted to color it, border, let's just make it, uh, okay, some sort of blue. That's doing the whole thing, right? Which is not what yep. we want. So um, what I'm thinking is just removing the border top here having nothing and putting a container around it that has the border mm -hmm. and then maybe moving the shadow and stuff like that to it. Or maybe, maybe I should yep. think of it the other way around. I should put one inside this. Sure. Okay. I guess it's kind of the same. Okay. So the inner one is going to have the padding, right? The yep. outer one will have the shadow. The outer one will have the Z index. Mm -hmm. um, the inner one will have the flex and flex call and the space. Okay. Um, this has a border top. We want border top zero. Border top zero. Okay. And then this is going to be the default border and BG white. This doesn't need a background because it's going to have no space. Mm -hmm. Border zero on this. Is there border zero? Yeah. And then border top four. Border blue. This doesn't have a color. That's why. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Um, what am I missing? This Does this need rounded? If I remove this, is that rounded gone? There it is. Oh, yeah, I think you'll want it on them both. Okay, probably just technically need a rounded top here. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave it rounded. Okay, rounded. All right, that's pretty good. Um, cool. We, that color is good enough, I think, maybe 400. 500, okay, leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> cool, so what else? I guess this is the more challenging card. So let's do that. Okay, it also has this border at the top. Um, mm -hmm. it has this, this might pose a problem. I, I guess we can't put padding or margin mm -hmm. on the whole thing because it'll affect this, uh, border top. So we want exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have, a f it's going to be a flex and it's going to have two items, mm -hmm. this top one and this bottom one. So let's do that first. Oh, see the way this <laughs> the utility doesn't always work in this case because it, it doesn't have uh, it doesn't yes, have any space because we're behind. Yeah, yeah. Um, which also makes me think: is this correct? Look, it isn't correct. See that? What's happening? You see, there's a. Uh, it's not a continuous rounded corner. It's like this has a rounded corner. I I, I need uh, I, see. I need to get rid of rounded top on this right. This the white isn't meant to be rounded. It's meant to be flush. Oh, it's meant to be flat, is it? Okay, yeah. cool. I think so. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's. You could also there's a couple of different ways you could achieve this, right? You could do it with like um, box shadows. You could do it with like after element having a having a value and a border as well. But like we're we're close enough here that that's a small little implementation detail. It's not super important. Okay. So if I go rounded top none, that fixes it. Look. 
Well, I don't have to give it rounded bottom. Right. Cool. Okay. So where did I do that? Rounded top num. Rounded bottom. You could, I suppose you could also just specify rounded at the start and then rounded top none to knock off just the top. But it's all good. Okay, I didn't understand that, but this works. <laughs> so. That's okay. That's good. Let's plow ahead. Okay. Um, cool. So we're doing this here. What did I remove there? This is going to be the. Oh, the, oh, hang on. This this is wrong. This in, indentation is wrong, right? This div lives in here. This div lives in here. Are we missing a div then? I think we're not closing enough. Just comp that out for a second. No. Okay, something's wrong. There's a div. Here's a div. Here's a div. Here's a div. An input. Ah, uh, yes. Online. Uh, can you scroll to the right? Button. Online 29. The annotation's oh, yeah. off. Okay. So we've got, it looks like we've got one more div than we need. Thanks. Um, so this is the same. Okay. Although this is messed up. Um, I want to delete this stuff anyway. Sweet. Okay. This is, this is where componentization is so much nicer because you solve, solve yeah. this problem once. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, but it even said even said that like we've managed to build this so far and like this mm -hmm. is reasonably manageable. Thirty lines of <laughs> thirty lines yeah, of template. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so what what are we doing? We're doing a within here. This guy is going to have two items. It's going to be top and bottom, and this is going to say see all your conversations. Okay, and text small, text lighter blue. Okay, um, and it's got a, well, it's got a hover and it's got a border at the top. So hover, text blue is a little bit lighter. Okay, and it's got a border on the top. Now, do I need to give it a, oh, we need to deal with the padding, right? Because this guy has padding, the, the, the container of mm -hmm. both of these has padding. So I need to remove that. Yep. Okay. And then this will have that same padding. V6. Um, You've got a letter P in front of flex on that thing that had padding. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Um, so this also needs, okay, let, let's give it a, well, actually the border needs to be on this, right? Mm. Because then we need to put padding on this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so it needs padding six. Is that effective? Huh? But see, you can put padding on the, the border T one if you want to as well. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yep. Okay, which is too much. Uh, the padding wasn't useful on the on the A tag because it's, it's an inline element, so it doesn't, okay. uh, it doesn't care about that getting set on it. Cool, thanks. So I think I want PY4 because 6 looks too much. Cool. Okay, that's close enough, I think. Um, so let's do the top bit. Okay, what's here? We have a flex container with three items in it. So let's do that. Um, I guess this is the flex container. It's a call. Okay, um, so top is easy. Start a conversation, which is like find your answers row. Find your answers now. Uh, start a conversation.
Okay. Um, then we have some icons and we have a button. So let's do the button. Um, type equals button. Button, yeah. And it says send us a message. Is it okay to put a SVG inside the button? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can put it whenever, whatever content you'd like in there. Okay, cool. Um, you can even make the button a flex container if you need to, to have more fine control over the content. Okay, uh, cool. So I guess by default, does a button take up the the full width? Um, not to my recollection. Flex call. Seems to do, right? I don't believe it should by default. But maybe it is in our... Like not, nothing else does, right? Oh, that does. <laughs> okay. They're all doing it. Okay. okay. Have we set any... Oh, no, because we're in a flex container. Okay. We're in flex call, so they can take up the full width. Okay. So I, I don't want it to do that. So I can add, I guess, margin to the right. So, yeah. So we, what we're running in here, into here is the default um, I, uh, align items. Uh, so we can just set item start on the parent oh, yeah. to have all of those um, default to the left. Okay. So not on this, but on this. Hey, this this <laughs> utility is working really well. It's working really well. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. Um, items left or start. Start. Okay. Seems like left does it. I <laughs> know oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Which would have been amazing if it did. Um, <laughs> Making up properties. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be BG Blue seven hundred. It's going to have a, some padding. It's going to be rounded full. Hey, that, nice. that's interesting. Oh, wow. That looks so cool. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, text white. Okay. Send us a message. I feel like we're always adding text SM, which probably means it needs to be up higher. Right. Yeah. It could be a better default up higher, but that's ah, okay. okay. That looks pretty good. Let's get a um, icon. Arrow, chevron, flip. It's like a paper plane. Do they have one of those? Uh, just a little. <laughs> oh yeah, let me let me ch check. Okay. <laughs> hey, they do. Ah, uh, it's not the right direction. Well, oh yeah, let's pull this in and then rotate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Excellent. Brilliant. That's brilliant. I I didn't even. I just counted your idea immediately, and it's, it's great. Okay, um, so like that. I've never used rotation before, so this, I'm sure it's pretty simple. Rotate 90. Okay. Perfect. Uh, SVG, you might need something else. Oh, it hasn't done that. Transform. Ah, yes. Cool. Just want to see how this Beautiful. behaves with it pretty well. Okay. Um, so we want this to be a flex because we want them beside each other. Um, sometimes you can use gaps. Sometimes you can use space between. Well, like I'm not. Hey, so oh, gaps actually working here. Interesting. I thought that was a CSS grid uh, utility. So we have sort of over namespace, overloaded that namespace uh, internally in intercom uh, to work with flex, uh, just because we've got semantics around how we want wrapping to behave. But uh, let's just stick with CSY here, just because it's a more um, more direct mapping to, to Tailwind's docs. So this doesn't seem to work for some reason. Sorry, SpaceX, SpaceX, SpaceX. Uh, 3 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, I have a very, uh, I always have trouble differentiating between X and Y. X and Y horizontal yeah. and vertically. Yeah, it's uh, it doesn't seem to be working either, though. Ah, interesting. Um, so, oh, because is it because that send us a message is only a it's only a text node? Do you want to try to make that just wrap it in span? Yeah. RP. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. So I think that space between it 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 targets like uh, siblings, so it's it, it doesn't uh, want to apply the text to the uh, to just the text node in the DOM. Which is interesting because Gap does. Oh, okay, cool. I must go look at those docs because I think that's the CSS grid utility. Okay. But I, if it's working for us, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use Gap. 
Cool. Just yeah. Because it, it's it. much easier to understand, I think. You don't have to yeah, 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 say yeah. X like or we, Y. We, we, it like it goes exactly, on the, we, we, whichever way the the flex container is is flowing. Cool. Right. Gosh, between rows and columns. Yeah, it's, it's much cool. nicer. Yeah. Maybe their maybe their utils map directly to ours now. That's really cool. I must look into that. I think they deprecated something with this recently, so there's a chance that has changed since we introduced this, Tailwind. It it could be a Tailwind two thing. Oh, that'd be great. Sweet. Okay. Um. So send us a message. That's pretty close. Um. Maybe. Really close. The padding is not quite right. Yeah, I think it looks like it wants a little bit more on the X. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Um, so now we just do the thing in the middle, which is itself going to be a flex. Flex and flex row. And it will have two things. And then Okay, so I'm. <laughs> you might notice I'm, I'm. I keep doing the easy thing, leaving the hard thing to last. But maybe. Oh no, that's good. Maybe, you get the page structured yeah, up. Yeah, maybe it's not going to be that hard. Um, okay, so this is going to be the bit that says our usual reply time. So it's going to be this div. Okay, this here. So. Um, Um, let me just block this out for a sec, just so we get the space. PG. And give it a fixed width. Okay, avatars will go there. And then we're working on this here, which itself is going to have two items. So it's going to be flex call. And it will have two paragraphs, two divs. Two div yep. Two divs. Yeah, the semantic structure of this card isn't uh, super well defined from just looking at this, so we could do a we could do a semantic pass afterwards if we need to. Sorry, our usual reply time. I should just select it like this. And then a few minutes. And it's got a Time a little clock icon. Yeah. Okay, so this needs to be a flex flex row. Okay, um, this is probably a bit big. So we want this to, I, I'm going to think about this and see if I can get it right the first time. So we want cool. this to align, I, I'll use the words that you usually use. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's flowing this way. So we want to do it on the mm -hmm. off axis. So mm -hmm. it's, I think it's items center instead Perfect. of, uh, instead of justify. justify. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Cool. Got it. Um, and it's blue. 700 and um, this is this is text small again we're doing it um we need a little bit of a gap between here so mm -hmm. gap one oh gap one okay good enough this is bold so we just do Front bold, semi bold. Okay, uh, actually looks smaller than the other text. Maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. It's fine. Um, our usual reply time is gray and text small. I'm just going with this text small everywhere now. I think mm -hmm. probably yep. just bring it up to like at least a card level. Yeah, it yeah. feels like it makes sense there. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll try to do that afterwards. Um, cool. It is gray. I 
that. Okay. Um, not quite right. I guess we'll put the avatars in and oh, we, we need to add some spacing between this, which I think are not that one. This one. No, it was that one. Yeah. It's not this. I think it's, it's the one just below yeah. it. I had it originally, right? So we want yeah. gap three. That's about right. Nice. Okay. Um, so avatars. So we know we're going to have a bunch of images. Let me just mm -hmm. block the, uh, actually, no. I forgot. I was going to say, let's just put in tree divs and make them do the right thing. But actually, I remembered I have a gist here which contains some URLs that we can use. Oh, great. Okay, so. <laughs> the initial preview is pretty. <laughs> Pretty nice. It just rendered the full URL. <laughs> Did it? That's cool. Okay. So we have three images. Um, cool. Class equals. We want to give them, I guess, a fixed width and height. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. 16. Okay, rounded full to make them rounded. Um, okay, we want this to be a flex row. And I think here we can use our SpaceX, but with a negative on it. Yeah, cool. Okay, so A little bit more, 10. Okay. Nice. It's looking really close. Yeah. Um, so we want the rightmost one to be on top, which it is. We don't need to do anything. Uh, we want these to have a border, probably border two and border white. Look at that. Nice. It just works. Oh, that's excellent. This is intro. I wasn't expecting that. Did we give it? It's overflowing. So we've we've specified oh, W20, yeah. but we don't really care about giving that div any constraints. We're just happy for it to flow with its content. So yeah, yeah. Just, that was a yeah, temporary perfect. thing to block it out. Um, mm -hmm. So now this thing, we can use our space between. No, I'm sorry, gap. Gap is the yep. new space between. Love it. Okay. How's that look? Looking great. Start a conversation. This uh, this needs to be centered. Right, it's 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 kind of up the top. It needs to be centered here. So that's this guy. Um, so we want the contents to be centered in the direction that it's flowing. So that's justify center. Hey, I did. I actually learned it. Excellent. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, send us a message. Not quite right. Actually, there's, there's some space down here that we don't need. Let's fix mm. that up. Um, this is the button here. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> okay. So it, it doesn't have the space. Uh, so it's going to be the container. It's this gap three that's getting us, I think. No, it's not. It's the padding. We have too much padding on it. Mm -hmm. We need like padding x6 py4. Okay, uh, which is actually Excellent. what we did in this card as well. So if this if this was a, com uh, a component, so it's generalized. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. I think that's it's looking really that's good. Close enough. Yeah. Actually, the gap, I reduced. I want to add that back. Okay. Cool. Um. What else is there to do? Oh, we said we we're going to do something about the text SM, which we have yep. loads of them at the moment. 
So this is a card. And again, we can't see that this doesn't work on a card. I think if you put it on just the one right below the div, right beneath it, yeah, it should be nice and yeah, this guy. Okay, so we want this whole thing to be text SM, mm -hmm. and that changes something. Does it just the not much actually? So let's just find the other text SMs here, here, here. Okay, and in our button as well. Oh yeah, that's inside, yeah. Okay, so Sweet. we'd obviously do that for the other cards as well. That's, that's yeah. fine. Um, cool, so let, let's see what else we have. Um, like, all of these are pretty much, maybe this one I could do. This, this one looks a little more interesting. Like, the, the others are pretty straightforward, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all applying the same patterns that we've used to, to mark up the the contents in the previous cards. Yeah, so may maybe we'll just leave it like, like that. Like, what wh cool. what else is there that we're missing? Like, oh, uh, um, like the shadow. Everything seems to be working just right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just right. I'm actually, yeah, really surprised how how straightforward <laughs> that was. Like, I, I feel like I could, I could. Uh, I'm not struggling with like I could build this without uh, most of your advice now. I think, which is great. Deadly, excellent. All right, will we leave it there? Cool, yeah, short and sweet. All right, nice one. Thanks for your help. See you later. Cheers. See you later. See ya.